Hello guys, um, I'm back here again and today I have, I'm going to show you in this video an iris recognition implementation. Um, I, uh, these are some samples I have used for training and validation purpose. The implementation of iris recognition using convolutional neural network platform I have used here is MATLAB and uh, <coughs> uh, my accuracy is pretty good. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can further increase the accuracy and we will achieve the validation accuracy 100%. So uh, guys, uh, as you can see here, the validation loss is also significantly low. Uh, like this. So um, reach the final iteration, total number of iteration, uh, number of epoch I have uh, uh, I actually trained the model for five epoch only. So let's move toward the main implementation part and then we will talk about <coughs> things later on. The total number of classes as you can see here, these, this is my overall data set, uh, 338 folders, each folder containing the Irish samples of one subject. You can see here. Uh, the, the number of samples in each folders are varies, um, some containing 5, some containing 10. So it is a kind of imbalanced data set but machine, with the help of deep learning we can actually handle such type of situation where you can see here right now I have 5 samples of iris. So guys, uh, I, you know, we, uh, I remember the first video I had uploaded that was also iris recognition video. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, you must watch it was I, I had posted that video around two year back or three year back or I don't know at the year of 2015 sorry five year back. So guys uh, each iris is containing a unique pattern and uh, let me tell you what exactly the iris is first. So let me maximize this image little bit drag this portion open cursor guys this part we call iris this is this part we used to call pupil okay and this part we used to this part we used to call scalera so the unique pattern uh, guys as you can uh, if you notice this is the unique pattern containing each iris every iris so your iris is also unique you know it is impossible that two iris samples being identical you know two persons iris pattern is uh, can be identical it is impossible it is much more unique than the fingerprint system and uh, and the iris recognition system is basically used in very high security area these days actually iris uh, recognition is also comes into mobile but on the back uh, but, uh, but mobile iris recognition is actually limited with a few number of samples only uh, if you want to extend the technology you require to use deep learning uh, model things like that and need to train with high intensity because um, you need to minimize you know false positive rate and false acceptance rate so in that case uh, this is one of the sample implementation where you can see we can achieve very good accuracy with uh, with very few lines of code so guys uh, this is the code all about um, actually uh, uh, let me give you an overview this is clear for image data store is containing uh, is a built-in function in MATLAB which actually contain uh, keep the path of the folders and the labels it automatically give the label source as the name of the folder okay this is my main data set folder let me open for you uh, so <clears throat> containing 338 images each folder containing unique subject and with the help of image processing toolbox, I can show you the unique pattern of iris also. Ah, let me open the toolbox. Open, I can open it from anywhere. So let's open a one, one of the sample image. So guys, this is one of the sample image. Let's inspect more closely. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
let me open it again open so guys uh, let drag this cursor to the iris portion where you can see the unique pattern of it so guys this is the pattern actually that's what what make it unique uh, this pattern of iris mm, let make it a little bit little bit uh, let me draw it here drag this So guys, uh, I hope you guys ca uh, can see this. Uh, I'm recording this video in very high dimensional. I hope you would ca you guys would be able to see this pattern. This is the unique pattern of iris. Actually, this is our area of interest. So pre previously, you know, in traditionally, we what we use, we actually extract this iris portion first, ex uh, remove a sclera part, remove pupil part from the image and then uh, with the help of dogman rubber sheet model we actually uh, make a rectangular sheet of iris then we locate this area uh, you know area of interest this one and then try to find out uh, how much accuracy we can achieve the most famous algorithm was using Hamming distance but uh, with the image of you know deep learning technique we don't need to do such thing Deep learning can do the processing by itself. So let's guys uh, move toward the main part of the program. So here the data is stored. Here uh, this part will uh, um, this part of code will show you the few number of samples of images. As you can see here, we can increase the number of samples of, uh, more than 20. Like uh, I can go for 25, and uh, let's say we will see the 25 number of samples. And then the count label, how many number of samples I am having. So, so far, um, label count, uh, when we display the label count, it will show you total number of image samples. And uh, then we can, we read the image, read the size. The input image size is uh, 320 by 280. One is for appending layer because convolutional neural network you always take three dimensional input. So uh, right now the image input images are gray scale. So we need to append that uh, the last layer with one. Uh, this is the sample. Uh, this is a very simple code of convolutional neural network. By uh, two dimensional number of filters are three. Yeah, three uh, <coughs> number of filters are eight. Padding is same. By the batch pro batch normalization is for normalizing the number the input uh, convolutional neural network output ReLU as an activation max pooling is finding the most dominant pixel from the image next layer of convolutional batch normalization ReLU activation max pooling push the dominant pixel to the next layer of convolutional neural network again batch normalization to normalize the uh, output of convolutional neural network ReLU is for removing the non-linearity introducing the non-linearity fully connected layer is basically act as a dense layer which converted the two dimensional input or three dimensional input in one dimensional array which match the array you know this is the this uh, work as a perceptron which match the to total 338 number of classes softmax layer is basically for the activation and finally the classification layer uh, this is the way we write the code in matlab a matlab code uh, con writing co uh, cnn program is really simple and it actually pro provide the advantage of training option so we can use any we can all we need to do just initialize training option initial learning rate i have taken is one drop out and, uh, and after successive iteration 
uh, our learning rate keeps on dropping number of epoch i am going to show you for 10 epochs so that our accuracy will how much accuracy we can achieve so far and uh, with every image the input sample gets suffered automatically number of image validation 20% 20% of image I am using for validation purpose validation frequency is 10 that mean after 10 iteration one validation will push to the uh, after 10 iteration uh, validation process uh, validation images will push to the neural network on, uh, corresponding to train and see the validation accuracy and this is how we start the training of the network so let's start training guys and without wasting any time of you and let me show you okay so i got an error always it happens with me image permutation okay sorry uh, i need to put here 25 let's say so uh, you guys can see here now i am showing you 25 samples of different subject okay as you can see here each iris is uniquely identified then i press enter you can and now you can see uh, all labels with the number of image containing in it you can see here the minimum number of images in each folder are 5 and the maximum uh, around 13 in folder number 159 i guess uh, and here the training is going on you can see after iteration every iteration training iteration the accuracy keeps on improving let's say how much accuracy we can achieve after 10 epoch meanwhile training is going on uh, i hope uh, you guys <coughs> um, um, already subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed you can su subscribe it now you can watch many machine learning AI implementation topics video related information over there and uh, if you have any query or you are a PhD scholar master scholar working on POC or something like that you can ping me I have given my whatsapp number on the title section of the video uh, our company website is already given uh, on that description section and uh, if you have any query related to this video you can ping me anytime and you can see here guys if after 10 iteration we have achieved 100% validation accuracy so far so good which were previously not possible with the uh, without in the uh, without deep learning so this is all about today uh, I hope you guys like this video and uh, if you have any further question regarding this implementation you can mail me whatsapp me and thank you guys thanks for watching this video bye bye